inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again, or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stopped using, you could focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. Oh man, someone new! You need some jet, man? Home brewed? Reasonable prices? What's Jet? You don't know? It's the best. It just hypercharges everything. Like you got the speed of ten men in one inhaler. What other kinds of chems do you have? Well, you got your medicinal shit. Rad X and Rad Away for radiation sickness. Hey, do you think that's why they call it Rad X? That's far out. Mentats are for the sciency types, you know, eggheads looking for a boost to solve big problems. Buff outs for the muscle men. Fuck, just try it all is what I say. Not today. All right. are one with fists, wars with wits. Whoa. Hi. Before you even start, let's skip to the point. We have rooms, one room specifically. Payment due up front. Can you tell me a bit about this hotel? Oh, why do they always have questions? The Hotel Rexford used to be a grand establishment. We even had guests that didn't throw up all over the floor. But now the only people who come by are looking for somewhere to nurse a hangover or shoot up chems. So, still want a room? Who owns this place? Mr. Morowski. Oh, you should have seen him in his day. This place used to be flowing with high-end chems, beautiful clients, and oh, the parties. But now he just stews in the back office and disgraces his parents' memory. I swear, if they knew how far he's fallen, they'd die all over again. So why don't you rent a room before I get worked up? Tell me more about this Morowski character. Oh, why bother? He's worthless. The other big names caught him with his pants down, and now he just has this ratty hotel. That's the way good neighbor operates. The strong make it to the top until someone stronger kicks them down. Now are you buying this room or not? Tell me a bit about yourself, Claire. I have been working in this hotel for over 40 years, and this is not how I imagined spending my retirement. Now are you done being nosy or are you getting a room? All right, here. The room is on the top floor. When you come to the hallway, it's the last one on the right. I just clean up around here. <clears throat> this place ain't what it used to be, and it ain't used to be much. It's my favorite person. Got some premium shit here. Hey, you find that brewing machine yet? 
Or are you just here looking for scrap? So about the job. What am I looking for again? Some sort of brewing machine at the Shamrock Tap House. I'm not sure what it looks like. Not right now. Sure. See you around. You from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. 20 years of loyal service. And now look at me. I wasn't on the list. But you, look at you. 200 years, and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? You don't know? They didn't tell you? Tell me what? What is it? How did you get through these last 200 years untouched? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thawed out recently. What? vault never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. Are there any other ghouls out there from before? You mean crazy Kent and nothing bothers me, Daisy? Yeah, there's a couple of us. But no one from the neighborhood. No one from vault -Tec. They just... left me there. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from... before. I, uh... I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. showing your face around here. You want I should kick his ass, boss? Not yet. Let's see what he has to say for himself first. You seem upset about something. You know exactly what this is about. You stole from me. But I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you didn't know who you were stealing from. It happens. Now you do. Those were my chems you took when you ambushed Trish. I'm sorry. I didn't know those were your chems. Yeah, that's a good start. Here's the deal. 
You pay me 2,000 caps, and I'll forget this ever happened. Just this once. So what if I don't pay you? There's one really easy way to find out. If you're that kind of stupid. I'm getting very tired of looking at your ugly face. It's 2,000 caps to square things. What'll it be? Be reasonable. That's way more than those chems were worth. You probably don't even have it, do you? I don't know why I'm doing this, but fine. A thousand caps to square things. Hey, you've got a week. Stan, my friend here was just leaving. You heard the boss. Let's go. Hey, Murawski. I hope you're here to pay up. Here's your money. This is a one-time thing, you understand? Don't cross me again. Hey, Murawski. Look, I know it's an open door, but it's like a philosophically open door, okay? Get the hell out. You want a room? Claire runs the desk. Give her something to do besides breathing down my neck. What's up, Murawski? What? You got an itch or something? Talk to my associate, Fred Allen. Our selection ain't what it used to be, but the boy makes a decent Ken. Got a reason you're in my office? Look, I'm not mad, but my friend Stan over here, he's got a temper. Hates people who loiter. What's up, Murawski? I know I'm not exactly the most feared man and good neighbor nowadays, but would you just leave? I'm trying to work here. Let me offer you some advice. You're always up until you're down in this neighborhood. You feel big now? One day you won't. Hey, Murawski. Let me offer you some advice. You're always up until you're down in this neighborhood. You feel big now? One day you won't. <clears throat> Don't do anything I gotta make you regret. Hotel ain't what it used to be, but don't go shooting it up. Just trying to clean up. I am so happy to see you again. I got all kinds of... Hey. Keep things cool, and we won't have to tussle, got it? What kind of work? It's good work. Under the supervision of the best boss you'll ever have. If you don't mind a little manual labor, and don't ask too many questions, you're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? I'm gonna need more to go on here. There's a project I'm working on. A big one. One that could get me into lots of trouble if the wrong person finds out. So little discretion is called for. I got a delicate house of cards going here, you know? You can do better than that. Fine. Take a hundred up front. I'm in. That's what I like to hear. Let's go inside. I'll give you the lowdown. Ready to get to work. Are you gonna tell me what we're actually doing? Look, we're pulling a job here. Big payoff. Taking some things that aren't technically ours yet. If you expect me to work for you, I'm gonna need more information than that. Mm, curious type, eh? All right, I'll spell it out for you. I'm digging a tunnel in my basement. 
I'm hoping it'll get me past an impenetrable security system and into a big stinking pile of loot. What are we digging for? Buried treasure? You could call it that. But seriously, lay off the questions. The other two are down there digging already. Go give them a hand, will you? See if he had anything worth taking. Good plan. filled with mire lurks. At least you put up a better fight than those good-for-nothings. Well, you stuck around at least. So I guess you're promoted. You get to be my new gun. I think we just need one more guy. An old friend. He'll want a fair cut, but we saw what being cheap got me. Who is this guy? He's just the guy we need to speed things along. Likes gadgets, money, and not much else. First, I think it's best if you actually see what we're after. I have some things to check on in Diamond City. Head over to the noodle shop there, and I'll meet you when I finish up my business.
I'll catch up to you. Order yourself a bowl of noodles if I get held up. People like me aren't allowed around here. Now let's get down to business. That big wall of glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Most people don't know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. Mayor's just sitting on top of it. And that's our target. The guy...